It's time once again to slip into your camo, grab your bow, and join us out in the field for another episode of the Up North Journal, presented by PSE Archery. The Up North Journal crew is knocked and ready to rock for another exciting adventure. So let's step outside and hit the trail. This episode is brought to you by PSE Archery. Black Eagle Arrows. Cabela's. Antler Action. Spot Shooter Archery. Tom's Custom Turkey Calls. Family Traditions Tree Stands. And Badass Slingshots. I shoot PSE because I like one pin to 40 yards. I shoot PSE for the perfect combination of feel and performance. I shoot PSE because you can shoot lighter poundage and increase arrow speed. I shoot PSE for the fastest bows on the planet. I shoot PSE because my livelihood depends on my bow. I shoot PSE because better engineering makes a better bow. I shoot PSE. I I shoot shoot PSE. I shoot PSE. I shoot PSE. Experience PSE. Experience performance. We know the future of hunting depends on our nation's youth. But did you know that in many states, it's illegal for you to take your son or daughter hunting until the age of 12 or even older? As a result, we have fewer young hunters, and the Families of Field program is designed to eliminate those barriers. Hunting is safe, and the safest hunters of field are young people with adult mentors. Visit our website at familiesoffield.org to find out how you can bring more families afield. Welcome back to another Up North Journal minicast. That's right. Something you're going to hear in the next three to ten minutes that you're you're going to hear nothing at all on our main cast. But we're going to talk about something that's going to be uh, on this minicast. Something I thought of uh, as we were sitting here talking. Uh, Going into the new year, we've been through uh, a hunting season, the bow season. We've been through gun season. Uh, Have you come up with something that you're looking to get for the new year not a christmas item maybe but something you you've been out in the woods and all of a sudden you're like yes Gee, i really wish i could get that yes or i or i'm gonna need that next year yes okay i came up with something too two things all right they come to mind randy did you yeah i have a couple three okay items. all right randy you're the guest you go first a range finder range finder yeah. okay sometimes those those trees look a little closer than <laughs> than you think and you know, absolutely i think uh that, that's a good a, choice i missed a squirrel at 10 yards with, with my bow and apparently it was a little further than 10 yards okay oh, yeah okay so uh um, that's good that's range one finder um do you guys know what a marsh seat is marsh, yes marsh seat yep. marsh seat yeah it, it, it's a duck hunting thing okay um but it, it's basically a seat hooked to a, a pole and it's it, hunting in the marsh you shove it in the water and you, and sit on you can sit there. Oh, it's 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 like the it's like those seats that the, they used. Uh, I saw them. They used them at the uh, like the R one hundred. They they carried them and then they wanted to sit down, so they just kind of yeah. But those are a little more fancy. Those ones are are kind of like those uh, camping seats where mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, okay, so a, a marsh seat. You just pop this out. You well, sit in the marsh. That's what the duck hunters use them for, is, right? Uh, but I was thinking more deer hunting because of hunting state land. I, I do a lot of your old school hunting where mm-hmm. you just pop a squat by a tree and yep, hope for the best. Or or you, if you're looking at maps or looking at sign or you're doing some scouting on state land, you don't necessarily want to throw your pop up blind and just leave it there, right? So uh, no, and it's like anything. You throw a pop up blind in an area that the you know you're in their woods. And it's like somebody taking your you know, adding something to your living room and you're just like, hey, that's not normal. Right. Exactly. So um so I've been trying to figure out a, a way of, of hauling something into in into the woods that I can sit on, not necessarily be sit out like a sore thumb, but still be mobile. Have the convenience of, of being mobile and, and mm-hmm. comfortable. Okay. Now I have um Oh, I don't even know what they're called anymore, but they're they're like tree seats. It's it's a seat. you, hook, you hook to the tree. Yeah, you bring it around with the it's chain. It's got a little ratchet. Yeah, yep. mm-hmm. yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So I have a couple of those that I picked up at a rummage sale for a buck, uh, and they work out pretty well. But I can see where um, Mercy will if I don't good. lose weight, I may break one. Oh, yeah, that wouldn't be good. So, you know, you know when that'll break? 
when the biggest buck of your life is 20 yards out in front of you and you're pulling back, and it'll break them. Yeah. So and uh, there's got to be a, a way. So I was thinking, you know, some of the things I've used before, and I've used a marsh seat before, um, maybe not as, as tall because usually those are, you know, three foot or so to get down into the muck and oh, okay. still have it out of the water so you can sit on it. And um, But even, you know, maybe a foot, two feet or so, something you can just kind of ratchet to a tree or even just something okay. you can have there. Um, so I'm, yeah, kind of come up with something like that. All right. Look into those archery seats to see what they have to say. Anything else? Um, some arrows, some new arrows. There you so, go. Because archery class is going to start and for the kids in January, right? Yeah, we're going to probably do some arrows. And we'll talk more about that on an upcoming show about that. Yeah. What about you? Okay. So I was was hoping to get one before I went up north, but I confirmed that I need one now is a seat for my blind that uh the cabela's uh i think the one seat that i want to get is the one that's got the adjustable legs okay because i was in the blind and i typically for gun season i'll have a bag chair type right and i'm finding myself s- starting to sag as the day goes by like mm-hmm. a bean bag no not a bean bag uh, you know like the camp you know, chair you know the camp chair oh, in the bag oh, oh okay you know you unfold it sit I, down. I wasn't sure how how relaxed you were going to get in the blind. <laughs> a beanbag is a good idea, but a little low. Anyways, um, so I was sitting in that, and uh, yeah, as the day went on, I started to sag. Now, typically what I'll do, you know, okay, I'll give me all your jokes, but I'll take uh, a foam pad that we have, a, a chair seat that's foam, and I'll fold it in half, and I'll use it as a booster seat. Right, right. And, you know, it, so that works out. take one out of your car? No, leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> I was going to be nice, man. I was going to get through this without laughing. Randy, you just had to ruin it. But So I started looking, and, and I wanted to get one before I went up. They didn't have any at Cabela's when I was there. So I Booster think, seats or the chairs? No, the, the, the blind chairs, Randy. <sighs> oh. Last in-house guest we had. Didn't get them at Babies R Us? Yeah, yeah exactly. That's it. So that is, that is uh, my number one thing I want to get. And... I didn't get to try it, but my cousin had something that was really interesting. Uh, he had um, he bought it at Woods and Water. Uh, I didn't get to try it. He gave me one. It's uh, a telescopic. It had two gla- gator clips on the end. And you know the pop-up blinds, right? Mm-hmm. You take them, and you stretch it across the window, and you gator clip them in, and that was your rest for your gun. Oh. Would it, ho- it, it holds it? It, ho- it holds your gun, and you use it as a gun rest. So is it huh. similar to a... Um... Material of like a tent pole, right? Like a metal t- telescopic. Okay. You know, like a almost like a you know like a a, a pen pointer that you can yeah. pull out and extend, kind of like that concept with two gator clips on the end. A selfie stick. Yeah, almost like that, like a selfie stick that had two, and you you, you expand it to your window size mm-hmm. and you, you clip it in, and then that. I didn't get to try it, uh, but I would like to try it for next year. So those are kind of the two things. Okay. That I'll be looking to get for next year. All right. You. A two-person tree stand, ladder stand, because uh, my daughter wants to, my youngest daughter Maddie wants to archery hunt next year. She's, after being out in the deer blind, she's frustrated about seeing as much game. Uh, and you know the dynamics of how things run at our camp. Yep. During rifle season, it gets a little hectic, and the deer numbers tend to dwindle. But uh, I said, well, if we're going to archery hunt, I said, I know you're not going to sit by yourself to begin with. So that's my thought process is getting a two-man family traditions ladder stand. So there you go. Oh, speaking of that, I want to get a climber. climber? I think I've uh, with a, a with climbing tree stand. A climbing tree stand because with hunting state land, it's not like I can just hoof a ladder stand in there and right. hope for the best. Right on. Um, <laughs> yeah. And true. with some of the hang-ons with the with uh, climbing sticks and everything, that just seems like a lot of stuff to be hauling in, in and, in and out of. It is, and it's a lot of work, and it's dangerous. <laughs> That's why I went to ladder yeah. stands. And I know, I know, climbing stands. There, there's safety issues with that. Some, somewhat. Um, they have improved. The, they have improved the climbers a lot from basically the back when they give you a a, a, a bungee strap on the bottom board, and you just kind of hope think, it stays yeah, on your feet. Hope you yeah. stay on your feet and kind of shimmied up. But they have improved that. Well, with the um, that uh, bow hunting class that I took earlier this year. Um, it kind of opened my eyes a little bit to to uh, um, tree stand hunting a little little better because I almost fell out of a tree um, when I was younger, and ever since then I've just hunted from the ground and 
it's just been easier sometimes with my fidgety in this and i'll add one more thing to your list then safety vest yeah there you go absolutely oh yeah it'd be safety vest and in one of those um what is it lifelines yep i think they call it yeah yep. no yep. i wouldn't go up without one of those um but one of the guys that was our instructors that's what he uses as a, as a climber and that was his thing he had a he had a, a lifeline a safety vest and then he also had the um uh telephone pole um lineman's cord yes lineman's cord that he uses as he mm-hmm. goes up and he showed a couple different ways of of actually um it's kind of like a lifeline for your bottom um, piece. I don't know oh, yeah, what yeah. that's called, but how he hooks it to the top piece. So even if your feet do fall, it doesn't go down to the ground. Exactly. It just, it, it stops. Oh, okay. You know? Cool. And it, and it's enough where he's got it uh, fashioned up where he can kind of work it back up to where he can get it oh, with yeah. his feet. So, yep. um, so that, that was kind of good. And that, and that's what I liked about the class too, was, is it kind of opened my eyes to a couple of different things. And, and there was a, you know, ways of setting up your ladder stands and hang on stands and stuff, which, which was cool. It's just, you know, getting everything set up in, on state land. And then, you know, yeah, you can take your bottom uh, um, ladder or uh, climbing stick. stick off the tree. But who's to say that somebody doesn't have another one that just hooks theirs up, climbs up, takes your stuff, and then comes back down. So, right. Right on. Absolutely. So there you go. There's our, uh, our wish list for 2017. That'll do it for this Up North Journal minicast. This episode was brought to you by PSE Archery, Black Eagle Arrows, Cabela's, Antler Action, Spot Shooter Archery, Tom's Custom Turkey Calls, Family Traditions Tree Stands, and Badass Slingshots. Thanks for listening and join us again here next week. Until then, remember, as we always like to say, if you're out on the water or in the woods, shoot straight and be safe until next week on the Up North Journal.